What was the toughest part about growing up in Mexico? My mom. <laughs> Sorry, but she really made a fucking scar on me. She was really tough. I, re I just mentioned that she was Catholic, so parties there for Catholics, they're the Mexican, the best Mexican parties, they're done by Catholics over there, you know, like, especially in El Defe. So when she became Christian, because my sister was sick, and somehow she got her brain washed or safe, I don't know, I like not to, she's good, you know, like, but all of a sudden we didn't get to celebrate no more uh, birthdays or no more parties because she was one of those hardcore Christians like Judah, con los judíos. They, they don't work on Saturday and we don't watch TV on Saturday. We don't move the car. We don't even have a car at the moment, but whatever. Uh, so everything was hard. It was hard, you know, like because we, we used to, to at least go to the fucking parties and see my uncles and put, uh, fireworks in their hands when they're fucking drunk, and all of a sudden we don't we don't get to do yeah because we used to do that you know like we used to give my tío Margarito, tío tío agarra este cohete you know like para for him to throw him but if they were fucking drunk they would just boo and, <laughs> and they used to explode at it. we used to do that sometimes I got in the New Year's I got on fire because I was carrying the el galón of of Huacas gasolina. I, and I went there and put it in La Fogata. They, they throw in the middle. Over there, at uh, New Year's, they, they close the street. They do a, una fogata, you know, like a fire, a fire pit in the middle. So my brother and I, we went there to put more fire on it. So we took the, the liquid, we throw it at it, and that shit, phew, it came back at me. And I turned on. So it's there, I'm a hot boy. Wow. <laughs> what do you miss from Mexico? My grandma's food, I think, that's mm. one of the things. My grandma's food and, you know, not my childhood, but when I start meeting, when I start kicking it with the, the ones that you grow up, uh, you know, because over there you get to grow up with the same people and sometimes get older with the same people, not your families, you know, your neighbors. With those foods, we got a good thing going on. What were all the kids doing in Mexico at that time? Here in Los Angeles, kids were into skateboards, bicycles, um, Nintendo, video games. What were kids doing in Mexico when you were growing up? Canicas, <laughs> tazos. Um, skateboard, you know, like Mexico is it's like a vacuum of whatever happens in, in USA. Mm. So whatever, because a lot of the immigrants, they go back to where they're from, they bring with them, you know, whatever they learn over here. So, like, I remember my amigo Efrain, su hermano vivía aquí, and then that's how I got to know about Bam Marguera in mm. the skates, you know, like, that's how I got to see my first, uh, tribal t-shirt, mm. you know, because he, he was into graffiti too, so he used to send these foods, and we used to like, damn, that shit is super dope, and that's how we met. I start knowing about, I got, you know, like, to start knowing about graffiti, like, because I used to see that shit, or a picture of a piece and a t-shirt, which was something, like, really dope in those days, and about those shoes with, the, the skating shoes with a big old fucking front, like very fluff, fluffy, and the Yanko pants, you know, like we used to go to La Merced to buy the fake ones because they were cheaper. They were 100 pesos in those days. We used to have everything but fake. In those early days, were you into art? Mm, not really. I was more into I don't, I was more into like the skating, mm. like I really got my attention, but I, I'm not good at skating. I can barely, now, now I've, I've been practicing more now that I'm not working. I got my, my longboards, 
that I always had, but never really get on them. And now uh, I just, lately I think it's the age, but uh, I'm just going for everything, you know, like I want to try it. During these early years, what was school like in Mexico? Can you describe what school like is there? Yeah, uh, I'm a social worker, a licenciado en trabajo social. I mean, I was, I'm a graffiti writer, but I wasn't really bad at school, you know, like, we didn't get to to be the smartest, but it's for me so easy to read something and memorize it, and then I got it. So I got to enjoy a lot of free time, but school was cool. School was cool. It's different. The system is different. And I'm a charismatic person, I will say. So I used to get along with Mostly in high school, it was like the best years because I was, like I said, social worker. So that's a, a career that is chose by woman most of the time. And it was my friend Tonio and Alejandro and myself and 38 women in, in the classroom. So high school was pretty good. Three years in a row, man. Were you getting into trouble at a young age? Yeah. What kind of trouble were you getting into? Stealing, fighting? Yeah, all of that. It's very common over there to 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 be seduced by it. You know, like I remember my brother. The first time that we got in trouble, like that I remember, the my mom put uh, coins in the stove <laughs> for us to touch. For no, for to learn not to fucking, and I got, I got to feel, I got to feel it too because my brother took money from my stepdad, that he was on his closet, but the motherfucker didn't tell me. He just went like, "¿Quieres un helado? ¿Y una una sincronizada?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" And in school, they like chicharrones, like this, 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 you know, we, he fucking just started spending the money that he said he found. Well, he found, but he knows where he found it, you know, like, and then I remember my mom and my stepdad went to get us a, a school, and very quietly, we already knew that we were in trouble, and he knew, he knew it more, but I wasn't really, you know, and that's the first time that I got to feel the coins. How much did your brother steal, do you remember? It was a good amount, but in that time it was, it wasn't pesos, it was thousands, so, it was a good amount. When you say she put coins on the stove. Like to fucking get hot and to burn my hands. To burn her Did she put the coins on a pan? No, I feel like that. Like on, in, in the fire? Yeah, in, in the stove. And then what were you supposed to do? Put your hands. Wow. Yeah. Was she Christian at this time? I believe she was. Wow. She was a, a hardcore one. 